I'm doing the fight song. Practicing? Yeah. And I have to perfect it. <laughs> it's very windy and quite chilly. I can't have beer for dinner like you, Dad. I'm just, I'm just ecstatic. I can't, I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, it is day two in Breckenridge. We got in yesterday. We had great sleep. Actually, I don't have that great sleep. So we got in yesterday. We got some groceries from the town last night. And now it's day one of skiing. So as you can see outside, there's some snow on the ground. I don't know if it's snowing yet. I thought it was snowing, but I think wind is just blowing some snow off that rooftop right there. It's whatever. Uh, me and mom are going to go down and get some waffles because they have these crazy good waffles down at one of these places. So we're gonna go get some waffles. The slope's open at nine. It's like 8.30ish right now. We're gonna go get waffles, come back up, get our stuff, hit the slopes. And I'm so excited. Never been skiing in Colorado before. I'm just, I'm just ecstatic. I can't, I can't wait. We just, God bless you. We just went and get God bless you. Our grab and go waffles. So it comes with this huge Belgian waffle, mm -hmm. syrup, butter, and I think chocolate chips. Are there chips in Oh yeah. Damn. Bam, That's Bama Whamma. Bama Whamma. And Ryan got hot chocolate. Wait, no, is that uh, your hot chocolate? Yeah, yes, and this chocolate. is my coffee, my decaf. All right, yeah. eat up. We got a lot of skiing to do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you ready? So ready. Excellent, you guys. We got all geared up in here. All we have to do is walk out, down the elevator, and out to the lift. Yeah. First, we have to buy Ryan's ticket because he left his at home accidentally. Okay, all right. And then we're gonna go. All right, all right let's go shred. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so another day in which we sit all Katie, or Katie, there's Katie right there. Hi, Kate. Hello. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing? I'm doing the fight song. Practicing? Yeah. That was a really bad half Heidi, sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> it's like you're getting it. That's not the tune. I just made that up, but yeah. What are you up to? That was that was like lazy. That was as a joke. So I don't think that's actually how I'm gonna do it because that's not that's not how I'm gonna do it. Right. So if if a coach was happen to see this, then that's not don't. It. That's not it. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't judge me. Okay, Katie's under the, under pressure right now. Why are you under pressure? Because I have to film my first um, step. Wait, first step. What's it called? Like first not tryout. Uh, tryout. Yeah, but it's like a section, I guess. Like the first um, piece of tryout material is I have to film it tomorrow. And so I have to do the fight song. And I have to perfect it. <laughs> and like my, like, because I was doing the thing and I, I did the, like a half high V right here. Which is like not where it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to be here. Uh -huh. And so if I do it here, that's not good. Points off. A yeah. lot of people are trying out too. Yeah. So um, I think it's a success if you get past the virtual. That's. Uh... Yeah, if I make it past the virtual, I'll be happy. Yeah. That's. I feel like that's a. Uh, yeah. An accomplishment. I don't want to be too hard on myself if I don't make the team. Right. But I really want to make the team. But if I don't, <laughs> if I don't make it, it's gonna be okay. Right. Everything happens for a reason. Sure. But I really. Want to. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're working hard, that's good. Congratulations. That makes me proud of you. Thank you. Uh, so what are you doing now? You're going over to Molly's? Mm -hmm. Okay. She, I need her to... She, she doesn't actually help me with the fight song. But she, like, knows when I do things wrong. It's like, she doesn't... She's like, why do I need to help you? I was like, can you come help me? And she was like, I quite literally sit there and don't do anything. Like, I don't help you at all. And I was like, I know, but it's it's the moral support that I <laughs> That's what friends are for. Yes. All right. Well, good. I'm going to work. Uh, Mom and Ryan are somewhere sliding down Breckenridge Mountain. So I will, let's see what they're doing. You know, here's the thing, Dad. You know how we don't like skiing? Right. And we don't like being in cold places. Right. Like, I'd much rather be at the beach. Yeah. I, like, if I could, like, snap myself mm -hmm. in and out of the cold, <laughs> then I would, like, if I could snap myself into the lodge and eat, like, a little waffle, you know, like, one of those cute <laughs> waffles, I would do that and then I'd snap myself back to the beach. It's a nice day out. Look, it's nice. We have sun. It's like 70 degrees. Yeah, except I'm moving to Florida and there's sun there all the time. So. <laughs> all right, well, good luck. Thank you. Big day tomorrow. What time is the is your filming tomorrow? 11. Okay, so you got to uh, rock and roll. Well, little. I'm going to meet her there at 11. It'll probably take me a really long time. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. 
is so nervy. I was have to text her and make sure it's still that sure. time is still good with her because I don't know. Because you put so you can't edit it at all. Right. Have you practiced what you're gonna say? Hi, I'm Kate Donnelly. No, I haven't practiced what I'm gonna say. So. Hi, my name's Katie. I'm from <laughs> Maryland, and I want to be on the team because that's a really good question that I need to answer. Why do I want to be on the team? Uh. There's so many reasons though. Like I can't be like. Well, first of all, because I like cheerleading. Second of all, because I want to have a schedule. Third of all, because I want to be on the sidelines. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. what do I say? You're right. Hi. I'm Kate. I want to be on your team because... I want to represent the best of... I want to represent the... That's, University. yeah, that's actually good. I want to I want to represent Florida State University. Yes, I want to be a great model for... Uh, for I want to be a great kids. representative for kids that want to come here someday, right? Yeah. Because that's really what it is. Plus, you're, um, you like to lead people, right? Remember when mom used to, like, show me the cheerleaders and stuff at football games? Like, and Nana would, too. They'd be like, do you see the cheerleaders? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so that'd be cool if I was one of them. Yeah, so you got to figure out. You know how you do I and Kate and this is the Disney Channel? Yes. Same thing. Okay. Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm trying out for Florida State Cheerleader. <laughs> Well, they know, because I wouldn't be sending a video. <laughs> uh, they know I'm trying out. I, maybe I'd like to be considered for... Well, they know I'd like to be considered. So, what are you going to say? Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from... Insert where I'm from. Um, Pick and... me, I'm a winner? <laughs> no. You, you want me. Hi, I'm Katie. You Don need you me. You have to say it like a cheer cheerleader. Hi, I'm Katie Donnelly. Is that how cheerleaders talk? Yes. Well, look at him. Watch it. Watch him. Well, I am a cheerleader. So. Say, hey. Hi, I'm Kate Donnelly. I'm not. Um, you say Donnelly weird. You gotta say. You gotta say it happy and smiley. There's no way you're gonna make it. <laughs> Did you hear us? <laughs> the first one was excellent. It's not a clear day, as you can tell. It's very windy and quite chilly. But the snow. There's about I would say six inches of powder. Would you say on top? Oh, he's listening to music. So about six, inches, six yeah. inches of powder on top. The snow's a little bit sticky, but we are, there's hardly anybody here, number one. And number two, we are skiing on new snow. It is really, really pretty great. So if the wind would stop a little bit, it would be a little bit warmer. It would be ideal. But... All right, we stopped for a little bit of time. We're going to be, we're looking at stickers, and I have to get a new neck thing. Um, ooh. I like both of them. I do too. It's recording? Yeah. All right.
iPod that I think you should bring with you tomorrow. Easy, it's light, okay. it's versatile. Look at it. Okay, 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 I don't want to talk about it. Trust me out. <laughs> Let's talk about dinner. What are we going to have for dinner? I don't know. Mr. McInerney's coming over. Tell him to bring over some food. Um, he might bring some beer. Uh, I don't want beer. Let's eat the cat. No. No? I don't think that's a good idea. Cat legs? I think mom would be upset. Barbecued fat cat legs? Their food kind of looks good. Honey. Like, their, their little, like, kibble pebbles or whatever <laughs> that is. Like, they look very moist and, like, yummy. One of them yacked their brains out yesterday, so stop feeding them. I yeah. haven't been... I, fe I fed them at 8, which is what mom always gives them at 8. So I fed them at 8, and then... Mom said, the, keep the the, stuff. mom said keep the dry food full, so that's what we did. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I had to clean up cat um, throughout. Maybe one of them ate a mouse. I don't know, but it was gross. Hey, we got popcorn for dinner. Dad. Yeah. How want to get a dog? Let me tell you why. I was in the car with Molly today. She doesn't have a dog. Molly? Right. Molly has two dogs. Go over and uh, play with her dog, then. I was in the car. And I was like, you know what? I want to go to drive for the dog. So I rented Molly's dog. Sam. How do you rent the dog? I said, Molly, I'm taking your dog. And she said, okay. But she came with me. Oh. Anyway, it's a really nice day. And it's been really like not nice for a while. Mm -hmm. So I decided to take off my windows and first and like the all, back. like the all, all year, yeah. Yeah, first time this year. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I did that, I was like, this is perfect for Sam, her dog. Talking because Sam? yeah, Sam and Smokey. You know Smokey, but Smokey is really old now, so I like I like Smokey. He can't ride in the car because he'll fall over and he has bad hips. Oh, good why? Anyway, Sam was vibing in the car with me, mm -hmm. and it just made me feel like I need to have a dog. Like I feel like it's a crime that I have a Jeep and no dog to put in it. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, I'm about to be like. Out of the house. Can't wait. I'm just gonna dog. But then I remembered, Oops. I can't have a dog in a dorm. No. So I've decided that I need to get an apartment. <laughs> Bye. I want a dog so bad, you know? Okay, you can't have a dog. You know, it's funny that you say that because I genuinely feel mm -hmm. like my childhood has not been complete due to the fact. No, please don't put it away in the. Dad always puts Old Bay in the popcorn, and it's so gross. I'm gonna let you. Do you want to make your own popcorn? I'll have that second one. It is. Mmm. Delightful. Old Bay sprinkled lightly on popcorn. Phenomenale. Mm. I'm getting a dog. Do you think he'd be jumping up right now? Going, he needs popcorn with just some popcorn. Maybe, and I'd feed it to him. Mm-hmm. Okay, I wouldn't feed my dog anything that um, is bad for dogs. <laughs> you know? Chocolate is back to dog. Like these chocolate chips that I'm eating right now. <laughs> these might be the best chocolate chips I've ever had. And they're Safeway brand. Well, I think I'm gonna get these from now on. Is it because you're hungry? It's because I'm nervous for tomorrow. But yeah. I didn't even find anybody. I understand that, but let me tell you the problem. The problem is, it's a pretty long video. Mm -hmm. So I have to do one, two, three, four. I have to do six tumbling things. Mm -hmm. And then a sideline chair. And then the entire fight song. Right. Which is tiring. Right. Okay? But the fight song is the last thing. No. So if I mess up the fight song, mm -hmm. I do the entire thing over again. Right. And it's no cuts. Like the video is no cuts. Mm -hmm. So if I mess up the fight song, I'm done so. And then I have to do it all over again. I'm going to be so tired. And the more tired I get, the worse my tumbling's going to get. You know? Right. So it goes down from there. So that's why I'm scared. I'm playing you print out all those requirements? No, yeah, print them out? Yeah. No? Yeah. Dad, what are we gonna do for beer? Hmm. We're gonna see what Mr. McInerney brings. I think he's gonna bring beer. I can't have beer for dinner like you, Dad. <laughs> I can't lose off beer and popcorn like you do. Uh -huh. Ryan and I ended our skiing day and then we switched clothes real quick. Actually, we went back to the room, relaxed a little bit and looked at our ski stats on our new app and then um, got in our bathing suits and now we're at the hot tub. It's a humongous hot tub. I'll show you Ryan how long he's in here too. There's Ryan. Hi Ryan, hi. Yes, it's a really, it's not one of those like 
little circle ones little or little square ones. Yeah, this uh, is like a in, huge In Colorado, hot tub. they take the huge pool that they usually have the resort and they flip it into a hot tub. I mean, it's a So um, it is like 15 degrees outside right now, but we are coasting warm in here. Getting out is going to be a whole other story. I think our room is literally right up there. I think it is. I think that's our room. Because we look out at this. Yeah, we look out and see the hot so. tub. So we're staying right over there. By the way, if I like dip my hair in the water a little bit and I take it out and it, it like freezes. Crazy. Like, look. Uh, it's freezing. It's froze. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it is. I don't know how it No, uh, that's the thing. Getting in is like cold, cold, cold. You get in hot, nice. And you get out, it's like, I don't want to get out because you get out and it's you just. You have snowflakes like, on your eyelashes. Do I really? Yeah. I think I do. You do. <sighs> All right, we're going to go relax a little bit. And then I don't know what. I have we no, should no get, plan after that, uh, other than doing a puzzle. We you should do a puzzle and puzzle. eat and get a good sleep. Sounds like a good idea. Tomorrow we're going to hit the slopes hard. Yeah. Also tonight, I think we're going to do a little breakdown of our experience today. Yeah, we can do and that. And just some insight if you are planning on doing anything like this, because trust me, it's amazing. You should. But like just some pros fun. and cons of yeah. our experience here. Yeah. So yeah. All right. All right. So then, toodles. This is Katie Kate. There's our popcorn. This is dinner. Dad, I want to get a boat. We have a boat. For myself. <laughs> a personal boat. Boat and a dog? A jet ski. <laughs> I want a boat, a dog, and a jet ski. You sound like uh, Veronica um, Augustus on um... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes, Willy Wonka's in the chocolate. Look, it's starting to get green here. That's very exciting. No, because listen to me. Listen Little to this. baby Dad. leaves coming. Dad. That's very exciting. Dad. Yeah. Picture this. I'm driving. Top is off. Windows are off. Dog is next to me. Mm. I turn around. Jet ski trailer on the back of the Jeep. Wow. Jet ski. I put my dog in a life vest. <laughs> and I put him in front of me, and we'd cruise on the jet ski. Dogs don't need life vests. They they swim naturally. That's well, why they have their own swim. They have their own swim stroke called the doggy paddle. I know, but in rough waters, if he were to fall off, I wouldn't want him to drown. Oh. You know. Right. And also, if he has a bright colored life vest on, then people can see him. Like other boats can see him if he were to fall off. You're already a responsible dog owner. Uh huh. And you're not even a dog owner. I know. I don't show what made us happy today because um, I don't want it to be 10 o'clock and forget. Sir, I'm trying to make myself lemonade. Can you please tell me where the lemon juice is? Yes, I can. Um, what made me happy today was uh, getting the lawn done because um, it's done now. I mowed the lawn and I'm very happy with it. Looks it good. Nice. Thank you very much. That made me happy today. And it made me happy knowing that Kate was working hard on her... Um, Audition not try out on her tryout. She's working hard on it and it's uh, good. It's making her responsible. So I'm happy about that. And I'm happy that mom and Ryan are having a good time in Colorado. They sent a couple very cool pictures. So that's cool too. So Katie and I are nice and toasty warm. They are probably not so much. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's his headline chair. Oh. You have to know that? Uh -huh. For the gig? Uh -huh. Uh huh. So you should watch a couple of the uh, ones that I saw. Yeah, I have them. Dad, we have to have real dinner. And I have to have my lemonade. This is dinner, Kate. Can you please tell me where the lemonade maker is? This is, uh, that's the entree. There's the side dish. <laughs> hey, stop throwing. Hey. Yes, the lemon maker is in the bench seat on the left-hand side. Okay, so we are done with the hot tub, and we came back up to the room, and we just want to tell you guys a little bit about our first day and our experience here at Breckenridge. This is our first time here, and we are... We are, I would say, we're kind of newish skiers, right. right? We just started taking ski trips recently. Right. So, but this is just a few things that we've noticed. I don't know. You guys comment below if you guys ski. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you do or not. But we'll start with Breckenridge, the town. Mm -hmm. Cute. Very cute town. Can we give it an 8 out of 10? Definitely. If yeah. you're thinking about coming here, you're probably going to find a Denver and then uh, drive over here to Breckenridge. It's not bad. It's like a two-hour drive. It's very scenic, very fun. Um, and, yes, uh, for starters, the town is amazing. 
Great shops, great ski shops, uh, good restaurants, food. good food. Yeah. Uh, touristy. Going, right. Touristy. So we're staying at a ski in, ski out hotel, which is uh, very highly fun. Highly recommended. Very, highly recommended. Very fun. Very convenient. Um, one of the things is, though, the slopes open at nine. So it's great to get a breakfast in before. And then you're definitely going to get hungry from, you know, uh, nine to the, then the slopes close at four. Um, so for lunch today, we stopped at this little place about halfway up the mountain and it was a little food court and we got food and it ended up being $68. So it's very expensive. Very That's one expensive. thing we did not, we were totally shocked. The food yes. we got, we got a cheeseburger to split and, and the prices weren't listed. So we're just, we, we weren't really that hungry, yeah. but we just wanted to eat, right? Yeah, so we so each we... got a cup of soup, we mm -hmm. got a cheeseburger to split, we got french fries and we each got a drink, $68. $68. So just if you're gonna eat it at Breckenridge, the resort itself, be careful. Mm -hmm. So there are some good like restaurants and like sit down places scattered around like the bottom of the mountain. But for, you know, I'd caution you in going anywhere. It's not like the food was horrible, but I'd caution you going anywhere near those like sit down food court places. Uh, by I the way, what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to bring our own lunch. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. So uh, there is a, that. there is a uh, grocery store in the town of Breckenridge. Um, so if you're, you know, wherever you're staying is a little kitchenette, it's highly recommended. Pack yourself a little lunch. If you carry a backpack when you ski, chuck it in there. Even if you want to chuck some snacks in your in your um, coat, as long as you're not yeah. falling on them and you don't squish your potato chips, <laughs> you'll be fine. So um, we shopped yesterday at the little store here at the hotel. We got some eggs and some some. If you looked at yesterday's video, we got eggs, cereal, and like milk. So we're gonna have breakfast here tomorrow mm -hmm. um, that we've already purchased. So we're gonna save yes. money that way because it was crazy. Right. Okay. Uh, next up, the service here at the hotel, we're staying, can I tell them what we're Yeah. So we're staying at the Grand Timber Lodge, and the service here has been amazing. Not sponsored. I just Not sponsored. It I just, looked it up and wanted, it fit, fit my budget. <laughs> right. It's, we just, I mean, ski and ski out, the, they have great hot tubs, great, I love the room. Uh, yeah. the service has been nothing but amazing. Uh, the service up on the mountain, it's been... Which is a totally different company. It's a totally so, different company. Yes, Breckenridge uh, Mountain. Right. It's been okay. It's not your... It's actually, not your... Not, I think it's actually been bad. Not just okay. I think bad. it's been bad. Like, I was... I'm markedly unimpressed with the service. Right. Um, okay. right. But, let alone the mountain and the town, this whole place is beautiful. Like, if you want to come to see it, you definitely should. Uh, I would caution you, skiing-wise look at the map so this is the trail map for breckenridge right here it is huge there are five peaks yes like are. five mountains within breckenridge five mountains within breckenridge all have tons of runs um and it is like a maze up there so definitely before you don't have to memorize the whole thing but before plan out which runs you want to do and which lifts you want to take so do you, you don't run into any like terrain you're not familiar with if you run into moguls and your head pops off you know just <laughs> Really just kind of plan around your day, like take stop on the lift and pull out your phone uh, and just say, okay, here, you know, if you have a, a, the map on your phone, just say, okay, well, let's go here, here, plan it out in increments. It is uh, very beautiful, but very confusing up there. Very so very yes, very big. Yeah. Um, so that's what me and mom did. We are already starting to plan our day for tomorrow as well up here. Yes. Uh, we only have two days of skiing here, so we're going to make the most of it. Um, and they've been windy and cold so far, yes. and I think they're going to be windy and cold tomorrow, too, but that's okay. Yes. That's okay. Lots of snow. It's snowing right now, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So we're getting fresh powder in April. Mm -hmm. It's April 13th, so that's pretty great. Huge. Right. So, uh, and then one last thing. I've heard that, this is my first, our first time at Breckenridge, we've heard that the lines can get very, very long, the lift lines can get very, very long, like January, mid-February, like prime time skiing. We're here, it's April, it's mid-April. It is, we didn't wait in one line. Not one. Mid, uh, like, and we did 14 runs. 14 runs, didn't Not wait once. in one line. We like literally it was skied perfect. right onto the thing, so. Yeah, so, and there's been like snow flurries. It's not gonna be like your quintessential Colorado skiing in April, but it is pretty darn, good. Is pretty darn close. Um, we, we still got great powder. It was, there was no like, close to yeah. no icy spots. Like it was, really was amazing. So, so let's roll into what made you happy today. What made you happy today, Ryan? What made me happy today was just, taking a look at the mountain for the first time. It was so much fun uh, skiing and um, just standing at the top of the mountain. It was very windy today, so there were a lot of snow flurries, so you couldn't really see much on a sunny day. And when you're standing at the top, you could see like all of Colorado. But so we stood at the top and we could see uh, pretty far. What made me happy today, yeah. can I say, mm -hmm. was um, skiing with Ryan. Totally fun. It's great having time just with Ryan. I love it. Yeah. One specific time we were coming down the mountain and Ryan suggested that I bring um, earbuds 
earbuds, right? Is that what they're called? Earbuds. Mm -hmm. I always get them mixed up. And so I brought earbuds and I had some music on. Of course, I'm listening to 80s rock. <laughs> and I'm skiing down. And what was the song? Was it? Uh, Guns N' Roses. It was Guns N' Roses. Yeah, Sweet Child of Mine. And I'm skiing down and I'm like, totally like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 sweet child of mine. <laughs> it's just so fun. That's what I'm going thing about skiing. Just anywhere, <laughs> not even at Red Ridge. Chuck some earbuds in. But uh, not too loud because you have to be able to hear what's going on right. around you. Right, not too loud, but uh, like whenever you start a run, turn the volume up a little, put them in, and just it's it, it makes is. it makes seeing so it's much like better. It's like a little movie. It okay. is like a little movie. Um, you <laughs> start right. and you'll find yourself start skiing to the beat. Yeah. But uh, very fun. So I am very excited for day two. I think we're gonna go. If you guys didn't know, Breckenridge houses the highest lift in North America. It is like almost 13,000 feet, it's crazy. We tried to go up there today, but it was so windy that they closed it. So we're gonna try to go early in the morning before the wind hits, go up, stand at the top, have a good time. We made it all the way up to the lift, but right. not there. Really all right, great, right, all right. right. This is the highest lift in North America. We made it right, er, no, right. We made it right there to the bottom. So close, so close. <laughs> We didn't but know yeah. they closed it until we got there. Yeah. All right, we guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We certainly had fun filming today's vlog. Mm -hmm. Comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we hope you tune in tomorrow. We'll see you later. Bye. Nice. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.